because it's easy for me. I came here and I'm going to spend some money to support him, but it's his livelihood, so he has to make a decision. It's a big decision, civil resistance, civil disobedience, when you lose your livelihood. So I'm incredibly proud of him. I'm very supportive of what he's doing because he's saying my individual liberty is worth the price of me even losing my business. You guys might probably don't know me. A lot of the world doesn't know me. I'm just a little old bar owner. My brother first told me he wanted me to open up a bar in Northeast DC and I was living out in Washington State and I laughed at him on the phone and said, there's no chance I'm ever coming to Northeast DC to open up a bar. I came out here, saw the neighborhood and was like, wow, this is gonna be a great place. I'll be short. If the, if the mandate is illogical, the only logical thing to do is to defy it. If the mandate is unconstitutional, it is constitutional not to follow it. If the mandate is unscientific, the only scientific thing to do is to ignore it. My father fought for this country, Marine Corps, and you're a, a Navy veteran, so I want to thank you for your fight and just keep it up, brother, and I'm sorry they're shutting you down. When people walk into this place, we get them and sit them down and get them a drink and get them a beer. That's, that's it. We get them food, really good food. I really don't know when people ask me, what, where are you going to get on the other side of this? I don't know. I just know that I'm doing the right thing and that this place is supposed to be open. <laughs>